I love old school YouTube videos. One of the uh, trendiest things I guess I've ever seen on YouTube that I really wanted to do for this channel, but I had to find a reseller spin to put on it is a what's in my bag video. For some reason, I just love seeing what other people are carrying around. What is their must have? They will not leave the house without X. And of course it depends on where you're going. I have a gym bag. I have a bag for when I go shopping, but my thrift bag is what we're going to talk about today. Whether you are thrifting for yourself or you are thrifting to resell for profit, there are a few little tools that I've learned in my years of professional thrifting as an online reseller. I want to share with you today what's in my reseller thrift bag. All right. <laughs> The bag that we're taking a peek inside today is actually my Teddy Blake Georgia Palmetto bag. This is an 11 inch bag. I feel like pretty much every bag that I own that I reach for and actually enjoy carrying is about this size. It's perfect for absolutely everything. Or if you just need a day where you have your absolute essentials, it's good for that too. As you're going to see, this bag holds a lot more than what you would imagine. I've had this bag for about five months and I have been carrying it a lot. It's really holding up well. I actually did a video where I showcased the construction of this bag and just how well it's put together. The folks over at Teddy Blake pride themselves on providing cutting edge luxury at an affordable budget. Their bags are handmade of fine leather in Italy. This one does have a crossbody strap as well. So if I needed to be hands free for the day, I could certainly do that. But I am a firm believer that you should dress for the job that you want. And this bag to me screams CEO, screams executive. I am not interested in online reselling just to get by. I am building an empire here. This bag says she's building an empire. Let's take a peek inside of my Teddy Blake. I love how you could wear this bag multiple ways. Um, so this is completely locked up and it is adjustable here. There are three different little settings. Right now it's really stuffed full because I had a lot of tools that I wanted to show you guys about. <laughs> but as soon as it is um, unlocked, you just open up this little flap and this leather is wearing super well uh, over the last five months. I've reached for this bag a lot, but let me show you how stuffed it is inside. This is everything that I would take on a day thrifting with me. Let's just start with the first thing I reach in and pull out. Ah, my trusty tripod. So I'm not just a thrifter reseller. I'm, I'm a content creator um, surrounding that topic. Obviously you're watching this video. So this little tripod is so great. I'll link it below in the description. I think it's always linked in my description. You just set this up anywhere. Um, there's a phone mount for it, but I actually used the phone mount last night, so it's not currently attached to it. And I can set my phone up anywhere in the thrift store and get the shot that I need to. I love this because look, it folds down and would literally fit in any bag that you have. You could fit this in your pocket if you're a guy because guys actually have pockets. Next in my bag, I can't imagine that you would go thrifting without your wallet. Even if you didn't bring an entire bag, if you have a little zippy wallet like this, you're gonna see all of the stuff I'm able to fit inside of this wallet. This particular wallet is the Louis Vuitton Damier Abine. I think this is called like the mini zippy or something like that. And you'll see in just a second why I love that it zips. Now I took all of my cards out of here. Typically I would have my debit card in my licenses and stuff, but the internet is a fun place and I don't want to risk uh, not blurring numbers out. So I took those out for the sake of the video. It's going to look a little bare in here, but inside I actually have three more tools. One of those is a tape measure. Now this tape measure is not jumbo. It's not something that you can put on the side of a tool belt. It's a very slim line, flat tape measure. You could even put this in your pocket. Uh, my friends over at Vindu actually gave me this one. And I love that it clicks out and then it doesn't just zap back in. Um, you actually have to push this button on the back. So I don't know how many times I am out thrifting and I'm thinking, will that fit in front of that window? Will that fit here, here, here? And some thrift stores will have a tape measure, but a lot of places don't. So it's a tiny little thing. I would suggest if you are a professional thrifter or just thrift for hobby, bring a tape measure. Also I have in here. Now I actually grabbed a pen that has a black light on it. The point being not the pen, but the black light. If you are thrifting vintage or antiques, it's a really smart idea to have a black light. There are certain materials that are, will fluoresce. They are fluorescent under a black light, uh, uranium glass, um, rubies. There are a lot of materials that you want to be able to inspect with a black light. I'll give you guys an example. 
Okay, here's a little crystal tower that I have. And this tower is what they call ruby zoisite. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But the thing is, it has a little bit of ruby in it. So because I have that, I'm gonna be able to show you guys what ruby does under a black light. It's quite a bit easier to see in person, but there are little red patches. I come to a pretty large patch here in just a second, but you can see how they fluoresce differently. They actually glow. It's kind of like a magenta glow that the ruby gives off right there on the edge. You see right where I'm about to put my thumb, that entire area is like this magenta pink and an actual ruby would do the same thing. So a black light is um, instrumental for sure in checking jewelry, checking uranium glass, all types of different things, uh, materials and things at the thrift store. Get yourself a little black light on a pin, on a keychain, something very small that will fit in your bag. Lastly, I have my actual pen in here because I always carry on me a notebook. I may as well just go ahead and grab that out of here. I have a lot of ideas uh, as a content creator um, or if I just want to take notes. My phone is great for that. I actually have a note, um, but there is nothing quite like just writing down on paper your ideas and so uh, I carry a pen and notebook absolutely everywhere that I go it's just always with me and I have several in my car I, I always have something to write on also inside the wallet this is just a must so your favorite thrift store may accept debit card and that's great but what happens when you're on the way home and you see a little yard sale and you don't have $15 cash on you just carry a couple bucks I know it's hard especially if you have kids because they need every dollar every day for school <laughs> I swear that's my luck like I pulled out 40 extra dollars the other day and Israel had a book fair and I gave him money Dello needed a new t-shirt and then he what did he need the other $10 for I think like something for choir by the middle of the week all of my $40 was gone so try to grab yourself there's $18 here just a little bit of cash that way if you do stop at a place that doesn't accept a card you don't have to leave the deals on the table I would recommend that cash being small bills like that um, it's a lot easier to negotiate something down if you're not asking them to break a larger bill like if something was $18 and you asked them if they would accept 10 if you have a 10 that is not as insulting as they said yes I'll accept 10 and then you hand them a 20 and expect change back. It's, it's just not the most polite thing ever. So try to have some fives and ones and maybe a 10. Also, yard sales don't always have change. So uh, bring an assortment of small bills and maybe a little bit of change. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have wet wipes in here. Now, I typically always have hand sanitizer, but for thrifting alone, I actually like a wet wipe because like if you're at a very dirty estate sale, if you are um, doing a private pick and it turns out to be a hoard because we all know I had that happen once. If you are picking through a potentially uh, a dirtier thrift store, when you leave, if you like spray or rub hand sanitizer around, sometimes it feels like you're just rubbing the ick around. So I like wet wipes for that reason. I also like wet wipes. Suppose you uh, got some great item, but you want to get the price tag off of it and there's sticker residue and you need to get it off there immediately. You could do that with a wet wipe. Um, these just really come in handy. And then also, again, the same way your hands are dirty in the thrift store, um, everyone that's pushing around those carts, hands are dirty too. So if you want to wipe off your cart, a wet wipe's going to do that and hand sanitizer is just not. So I'm not a germaphobe. I'm really not. It's just sometimes you are in the situation where you want to get your hands clean. If you go to the bins, definitely take some hand sanitizer on a trip like that this uh power banks come in lots of different shapes and sizes i even saw a power bank that um, is like magnetic and just clips to the back of your phone i thought that was really cool but this power bank i can just use the cord the cable that um i can drop in my purse or have in my car the last thing i want is to be at a thrift store really need to look up comps on an exciting item that could potentially be out of my price range, but if the comps are right, I need to buy it, and bam, my phone is dead. For that reason, I carry a power bank on me whenever I go to the thrift store. Sometimes they are a little bit heavy. It's gonna add a little bit of weight to your bag, but comment below if you've ever been in that situation where you realize later you should have bought something, but your phone was dead, and the price was too high to just take like a blind gamble on that item. Ah, uh, a claw clip. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, no, especially if you're at the bins or a you know a situation where you just need to get the hair out of the face this one's kind of an obvious I don't really need to explain to you why I have a claw clip but I do 
Oh, I have a bag of batteries. Does everyone carry these around? Again, adding a little bit of weight. Um, I carry just like three AA batteries and two D size batteries. I feel like those are the most common sizes. I carry these with me um, to thrift stores. I find a lot of little toys and small battery operated electronics that will just say as is or are untested. And if you have batteries on you, then you again, don't have to take an uneducated um, gamble about whether or not those items work. Some remote controls can be really great money, but if you don't have batteries to test them, again, you're just taking a gamble. And if, if what differentiates the gamble is just having this little bag of batteries in my bag, it's kind of a no brainer. Okay, I have, I always, like I don't leave the house without a snack. I'm setting myself up if I do, I eat, like a toddler. I eat like a, a few month old baby. Every couple hours I need something to eat. Um, right now in my bag is, are these little honey stinger waffles. A lot of times I'll have like protein bars or something like that. I may grab an apple. Um, I try not to grab, if I'm gonna do fruit, I try not to throw a banana in there because it gets bruised so easy, but an apple is super portable and it's wrapped. <laughs> so definitely like take a snack with you because if you are in between yard sales or thrift stores or anything, nothing is gonna derail that trip and and add cost to your goods, like having to go through the drive-thru, it's not even a healthy choice. So have a snack with you. Along those same lines, I carry caffeine sticks on me. I'm not like promoting caffeine usage. That's up to you whether or not you use caffeine. Okay, so don't come at me in the comments saying, Rachel, that was so unhealthy to tell people to have caffeine. Have caffeine if you wanna have caffeine, but also have electrolytes. Um, th this is so amazing. Okay, so there are, how many are in here? 10 of these little tablets. Can you see that at the bottom? It's kind of like a little Alka-Seltzer tablet, um, but these are electrolytes. It's called Noon and this fits in your purse. This is not going to get wet. It's not going to get crushed. These are amazing and it's like having an effervescent Gatorade. Um, you just, again, need to be taking care of yourself while you're out there because if I go thrifting for the entire day, it could be a 12 hour event. I need to stay hydrated and water alone won't do that. I always have some type of electrolytes on me. I also carry these little prayer cards. Um, I like to just leave these places, leave them at the cash register, leave them on a shelf or something. At a thrift store, maybe not on the shelf because someone might think that this is for sale. You could just pass this, hand this to a stranger. It has a little scripture on it. I actually put these in my packages, especially on whatnot, but I put those in a lot of packages that I send out. And I just think it's a nice way to share the word with people. Ooh, this goes with the batteries. I'm literally just digging through here and then whatever I pull out um, is what we're talking about. So I, I like to carry the little screwdrivers um, with me because along with those batteries, you need to be able to get into the battery compartment. If you had a bag of batteries, but you couldn't get the back off of the toy because you don't have a little screwdriver, then that's a, that's a problem. So you can carry the little miniature screwdrivers. I have an example here of a little, um, like a Swiss army knife that has a screwdriver on it. The point being have a screwdriver on you. Uh, a flathead would be best because although it's not ideal to remove a Phillips screw with a flathead, you can, and you wouldn't be able to use the Phillips on a flathead. So if you can only have space for one, carry a flathead miniature screwdriver on you. I also carry with me this little Bluetooth um, shutter button. So if I have, a my, so if I have set my phone up on that tripod that I showed you earlier and I'm far away from it, I can just click this button and it will take a picture or start the video on my phone. I got this with the tripod that I'm using right now, but I'll try to find, um, I'll try to find these on Walmart or something and link them below. If I can find them, I'll have them linked in the description in case you're a content creator and are interested in something like this also. What else do I have? It's almost empty, you guys. Oh, okay. Well, because I'm a woman, I'm always going to carry a little bit of glam with me and going to the thrift store, headed to the thrift store is no exception. Again, because I'm a content creator. Um, so I have my little Chanel foundation pouch. It's just this little velvet pouch with some uh, Chanel foundation, but this also has my makeup mirror, it has like a mirror on it. Um, so that's like an all-in-one thing. The applicator, the foundation to powder my nose or get rid of any shininess or whatnot. And then I have this Yves Saint Laurent lip balm. Um, it is packaged very much as a lipstick, but it is a clear color um, and I just wanna keep my lips hydrated. This is really the only makeup that I will um, carry on me and I don't even carry the foundation all of the time, but I always have something to put on my lips. You guys can see how much this bag truly holds and it is just, again, like it's so well structured. I also love that it has these little feet. It just 
protects the bottom of your bag so well. And I did say in the first video where I talked about this bag that I would update you guys and let you know how it wears. So look it over if the Teddy Blake bag was something that you have been considering. Hopefully this showcases how well that bag has worn for me in the last five months of reaching for it very often. So here is everything I fit inside my reseller thrift bag. I'd love to know if yours is any different than mine, but I would say overall that's an impressive amount of stuff to fit in such a small compact bag. There is one thing that I want to add to my bag. Um, and then there's one thing that I feel like you guys are probably screaming, Rachel, why didn't you have a jeweler's loop in your bag? For most people, I would highly suggest a jeweler's loop or a magnifying glass. I will tell you guys, I don't really need one of those unless I'm wearing my contact at the time. So my eyes, my vision is dramatically different. I'm very nearsighted on one side and very farsighted on the other. 2020 on my right eye, 2200 on my left eye. And that left eye is extremely near sighted. So if I just close my right eye, I'm able to read all of the inscriptions on jewelry. If I have my contact in, forget about it. Like there's no way I could do it without a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop. My optometrist seems to think that that's something that uh, will carry me through the rest of my life and I may never require any type of reading glass, which is awesome because that vision problem has given me more problems in my life <laughs> than joy. So it'd be really great to see something positive like that come out of it. I would however like to add a diamond tester to my bag. I have given away probably a dozen diamond testers between this YouTube channel, giving them away on lives, and then my Instagram. So um, I want a diamond tester and while I'm ordering my own, I may as well give one to you guys. If you would also like to add a diamond tester to your reseller bag, leave a comment below and include the word diamond anywhere in the comment. I'm going to pick a random comment with the word diamond and that person is going to win a diamond tester on me. When I order mine, I'll order you one also. One person is gonna win that. And who knows, we might really strike it rich and get some diamond jewelry at the thrift we otherwise would have passed over. Lastly, I'm gonna put out a call to other female resellers in this space. I would love to see your video, what's in my thrifting bag, what's in my reselling bag. You probably put some things in there that I don't, or maybe you left out some things that I have in my bag. Comment below and let me know if there's any differences but more than anything, if you made a video like that, tag me in your video. I would love to see those. I would love to watch those. Thank you so much for watching today's video. God bless you guys. And remember, treat your business like your business.